Hello, I'm Lisa Speaker in Lansing, Michigan. We do family law appeals all over the state of Michigan. In the last segment, we talked about whether your family law client had an appeal by right or an application for leave to appeal and all different kinds of family law orders. Today, we're more specifically gonna dive into helping you figure out whether your client has an appeal by right or an application for the custody and parenting time orders that the family law judge issues. The first step is to look at the court rule to determine whether an order is a final order for custody in a post-judgment context. The court rule MCR 72026A3 tells us that your client has an appeal by right if they're appealing an order that grants or denies a motion to change physical custody, legal custody, or domicile. So even though we have a court rule identifying post-judgment custody orders, the court rule leaves out a large category of orders that your client may only be able to appeal by application for leave rather than by an appeal by right. One big category that's left out of the court rule is parenting time orders. So anytime there's a motion to modify parenting time, it is likely that your client will only have an appeal by application. Other types of orders that are left out of the court rule are when there's a school change request or when the trial court is asked to make a medical decision, such as which doctor the child is going to go to or whether the child needs a certain type of treatment. So you, the orders have to be looked at carefully to determine whether they can fit into the court rule MCR 72026A3 or whether it's one of the broad areas that are omitted from the court rule. Because the court rule omits so many different types of orders that affect family law cases, there's also a lot of gray area and whether an order will qualify under the court rule as an appeal by right or whether your client will be limited to an application for leave to appeal. So here's the big catch. If the order looks like it's from an order granting or denying a motion to modify parenting time or school or medical decisions, but if that order also happens to change the established custodial environment, your client may still be able to pursue it as an appeal by right but it would be very helpful for your appellate attorney, such as the speaker law firm, to provide a jurisdictional statement to explain why that order fits within the court rule, even though on the face of it, the order looks like it's only modifying parenting time, for example. So the court rule creates a narrow category of cases that can be appealed by right and everything else is by application, but here's the gray area. Sometimes an order looks like it's just modifying parenting time, but we have to look closely at the case as your appellate experts to help you decipher whether that parenting time modification, for example, actually changes the established custodial environment. If there's a change in the established custodial environment because the overnights have changed dramatically, for example, your client may still be able to appeal by right that parenting time modification. But here's the catch. We wanna help you make sure the Court of Appeals agrees with that analysis. And what we do as your family law appellate experts is to provide the Court of Appeals a jurisdictional statement that lays out in some detail why the order on appeal actually should be appealable by right as a post-judgment order modifying custody. If your client has received an order from the trial court regarding parenting time or custody, you can click on the link below to obtain a handy guide to help you do a preliminary analysis of whether your client's order is appealable by right or by application. Or even better yet, contact the speaker law firm and we'll help you figure it out.